murder. New at six, eye on your safety as the population grows in Hernando County. As more people move to Florida, there's a greater need for more first responders. In Hernando County, the sheriff's office is down dozens of deputies. 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin chatted with the sheriff just hours ago about the uphill battle he faces daily in answering every call. The Hernando County Sheriff's Office covers just under 500 square miles. Obviously, response times are directly related to how many people you have working. Sheriff Al Neenhai says compared to state averages, Hernando County is about 200 deputies short-staffed. Having very high standards, having good people who do a good job and treat the public uh, fairly is important, but sometimes you just need more people. And uh, when you increase the population, that is certainly the time that you need to have more people. Hiring dozens of new deputies requires the staff to train them and the budget to afford it. It costs roughly $125,000 per deputy for training, equipment, and salary in their first year. Uh, that's going to be our priority for the next several years, uh, but we're also going to do it incrementally because we certainly don't want to lower our standards. As needed, Nienheis also does the same work as his deputies. Most of my time is spent uh, administering the organization, but that doesn't mean I don't do the occasional traffic stop or back up a deputy on a call if I'm in my vehicle and I hear something. The Hernando County Sheriff's Office will be asking for a budget to allow for more deputy hires. Nienheis says the tax dollars currently allocated create restrictions in hiring more aggressively. I'm a conservative uh, sheriff and we live in a conservative county, we're going to try and do it at the very best uh, cost that we can possibly get for our taxpayers. Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. The sheriff's office needs to submit its budget to the county commission by June 1st. In that budget, they'll request more money to hire additional deputies, forensic technicians, and dispatchers.